Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell Max Pro Intrusion how-to video series. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to add and configure VPlex zones on a Max Pro Intrusion controller. To do this, first log in to your Max Pro Cloud account. Once logged in, select the menu in the upper left and then select Customers. Choose the customer and then site on which you wish to add VPlex zones. On the Site Overview page, click the Devices tab down the left. Select the Max Pro Intrusion controller from the drop down at the top and then click on VPlex Devices. Click on the Add Zone button to add a VPlex zone. To see a more detailed view, choose Advanced View from the drop down in the upper right. A zone number will be assigned by default, however you can change this to any other available zone number if you wish as long as it is above 10. Enter a zone name and select the response type for the zone. Choose the area assignment for the zone and enter the unique serial number for the VPlex device. If this is a device that has multiple inputs or loops, choose the loop number which will be used on this zone. If this is being used on a 3000U panel, choose the VPlex bus on which the device is connected. Set whether the zone can be bypassed, if chime is to be enabled if applicable, and enable the smart contact feature if the VPlex device supports this feature. Click the Save button in the bottom right to complete adding of the zone. Ensure to switch the controller to installer mode to download the configuration. This concludes how to add and configure VPlex zones on a Max Pro Intrusion controller. Explore our trainings and discover your potential. Go to HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com.